season, Hunter Lipke, uh, what has he yeah. done to earn your trust in the passing game and in the role in the offense in general? Love that guy. Um, little Mike Allstock. Uh, that's what I call him. We're in the number 40 as well. One of my favorite backs back in the day, too. So uh, awesome just to see a guy, you know, come in as a fullback, show that he can play tight end, fullback, running back, can pass protect. Uh, made a huge third down, uh, huge third down catch uh, last week and obviously in this week. So, I mean, just a guy that not only gained more and more of my trust, but with the coaches as well, understanding that he's just a football player. You can put him there in any situation. He's going to get the job done. Went and got a fourth and one. I mean, bounced it almost, you know, got tripped him up and, and kept, his, kept his feet and went and got, what, an extra five yards or so. So um, the guy can do it all. And when you've got somebody like that, uh, that, that, that's huge for this offense, and we've got to figure out ways just to continue to keep get him on the field and um, allow him to uh, make plays when he can. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dallas Cowboys have a secret weapon, and they seriously need to use the kid, especially on the offense that's seriously lacking some firepower. Let's get into it as we finally give a, a feature presentation for Tatanka, a.k.a. Lil Mike Alstott, a.k.a. Hunter Lepke. Before we do... Be sure to check out the Autograph app, though, because you can catch some exclusive episodes of the Dak Attack Show by using my link in the description below. Sign up for the Autograph app. It's free. You join a Cowboys community, see all the Cowboys articles and content that you want to see all in one area on a sports app designed for sports fans. You can literally buy your tickets there, enter raffles, all kind of stuff. And again, the best part is... It's free. So check out Autograph using the link in the description and pinned comment below so you can check out some exclusive episodes of the DAC Attack show that you can only catch there. So if you don't actually sign up, you're going to be missing some DAC Attack episodes over the next few weeks. I'm just saying. Get this man involved more, Mike McCarthy. There's not a lot that you've been doing right this season as it pertains to play calling in your scheme. But one of the things that you have been doing right over the last couple of weeks is trying to get Hunter Lepke more involved. And based off of what Dak Prescott said to open up this segment, you can tell the quarterback wants Hunter Lepke involved as well because the quarterback knows... I don't have any weapons out here, man. I need some help. Me and CD can't do this by ourselves because at some point you're going to start seeing CD have three defenders around him on the field because everyone realizes the Cowboys really don't have any other weapons outside of Jake Ferguson and outside of CD Lamb. And even Jake Ferguson is still kind of coming into his own. He's still not like a full game-breaking bona fide weapon just yet. I think he's going to kind of morph into that as the season progresses. But as of right now, C.D. Lamb is the one bona fide game-breaking weapon that if you don't cover him, you know for a fact he can beat you. So with that being the case and with you having no run game, make Hunter Lepke RB1. No, I'm not saying he need to get all the carries or nothing like that. But I am saying he need to be touching the ball more than Deuce Vaughn. He needs to be touching the ball more than Ezekiel Elliott, whether it be through receiving or running the ball or just being involved in the play in some type of way. Hunter Lepke needs to be on the field more than those two guys specifically. Rico Dowdle, he's still kind of on edge. To me, Rico kind of has a couple of more games before I'm kind of over that experiment as well. But to be quite honest, I think the Cowboys could completely reshape what this run game looks like with two very simple moves. For one, Move Hunter Lepke up the depth chart a little bit. At least the running back depth chart. I know we use him as a tight end as well and all the other stuff. Move Hunter Lepke up the depth chart a little bit. Give little Mike Alstott more catches. Give him more touches. Give him more rushes. And activate Dalvin Cook from the practice squad. We're seeing Christian McCaffrey. We're seeing Alvin Kamara. We're seeing Derrick Henry. We're seeing Adam Jones with the Minnesota Vikings. We're seeing a lot of older backs now. A lot of these guys that weren't used and abused like Todd Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott from yesteryear, a lot of these backs that were sparingly used and they either came up in a, in a dual back backfield or they had teams that were more passing oriented or even in Derrick Henry case, he's just a freak of nature. We're seeing backs still give you premium production even close to their 30s. We have a running back on our team in Dalvin Cook 
who isn't even 30 yet, who has very minimal usage on his legs for a starting running back in the NFL, especially when it was as productive as Dalvin Cook was just before last season, y'all. Last season, he just found himself in a situation where he had no opportunities really to even get some carries in consistently. In this running back room, with the way our running backs have looked, at this point, y'all can keep Zeke on the team as a mascot if you want to. Call up Dalvin Cook, activate Dalvin Cook, and use Hunter Lepke more, and, and roll with that as your running back room. If Jerry, if you don't feel like you need to go out and get some more help, and you need to fix the running back room, or if you feel like you can't do it right now this season, in my opinion, I think that is the best possible option for the Dallas Cowboys right now, is to use Hunter Lepke more, activate Dalvin Cook, and use those two guys as your two primary running backs. At the end of the day, there's no way you can convince me that Dalvin Cook is going to give you anything less than what a Rico Dowdle or Ezekiel Elliott is. They're all pretty similar backs as far as how they run the ball. Personally, I think Dalvin Cook at this point in time, I think he probably is still capable of running the ball better than either one of those guys. So Dalvin Cook, Hunter Lepke, Utilize the weapons that you have on this team. Do not be hard-headed. Don't continue to run your head up against the wall. We have seen that the running backs lack burst. None of those guys have breakaway speed. None of those guys can even do what Derrick Henry just did against the Buffalo Bills breaking off an 87-yard run. Derrick Henry literally ran for more yards on one play than Ezekiel Elliott has in four games, y'all. Use the tools you got in the toolbox. That's all we really can do at this point. And this dude right here and Dalvin Cook are two of those really, really important tools I think the Cowboys just really need to use more of. On top of that, we know Dalvin Cook is a good receiver out the backfield. Hunter Lepke, he will pick up blocks back there when need be. We don't need Zeke just to pick up blocks in the passing game. Hunter Lepke can do that. We don't need little Deuce to be trying to pick up blocks in the passing game. Hunter Lepke or Dalvin Cook can do just as good of a job as a Deuce Vaughn does. Let's stop it. Let's minimize what we're doing and focus in on the actual tools that this team has to utilize, man. I'm tired of all the games. And I think this kid right here is someone that every time he has had a chance, he hasn't had many chances this season. But anytime he has touched the ball, it's been in a big moment. He's gotten us a first down or, or been able to move the ball down the field at a critical moment. He's just one of those players that anytime the ball finds its way around him, something positive happens and those type of guys when you have them on your team you want them around the ball more so let's get hunter lepke involved more mike mccarthy i really like what i'm starting to see from this guy remember last year we all kind of went out on the kid when he fumbled at the goal line we all moved past that we don't have any other options our other running backs look like the other running backs hunter lepke for rb1 i'm starting the campaign hunter lepke for rb1 either way let me know down in the comments below what do you think about that plan as far as the dallas cowboys running back room do you think that's something that would actually help the running back room or do you think it would just be all for not again i mean at this point we trying anything y'all i'm not sure 100 percent dalvin cook would be a much better option i just really feel like he has a lot left to give just based off of his usage and just what he looked like prior to the situation he found himself in last year i think dalvin cook could be our version of an alvin kamar or one of these older backs that's still being productive in the league today right but either way appreciate you guys tuning in we steep same old cowboys and again be sure to sign up for autograph use my link in the description below calling me texting me paging me asking me am i still the ball y'all use the check on me listen 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 I'm still them boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! Oh, shut up, my boy. Shut up. Hey! I'm still them boys.